Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Jaborik, and this is going to be one of the two NFL videos on coaching hires today. As we're going to start with Matt Eberflus, who gets hired over some other candidates that I think some would consider ahead of the pack of his being mentioned in coaching candidacies, just like some would probably consider others ahead of the pack of Jonathan Gannon, who's been mentioned as coaching candidacies. Uh, what some very good NHL or NHL NFL people did point out is. Um, Sean McDermott with Josh Allen, Brandon Staley is with Justin Herbert. Defensive coaches can do good um, with quarterbacks, obviously. And obviously also Mike Tomlin, as much as I didn't like this guy uh, for some of the things he's been accused of off the field, but Ben Roethlisberger did great with Mike Tomlin, who was always considered more of a defensive coach and is still considered more of a defensive So the, the point is, you can do good as a defensive coach with a quarterback. I don't I don't jive with that whole, oh, well, he's a defensive coach. He can't do good with a quarterback. Why? Uh, we've seen it happen, and people have done good with a quarterback. Um, Jacob Infante makes a great point with that. And then Aaron Lemming, I think, probably echoes um, what most people think with the Chicago Bears fan base about Matt or Burfless getting hired as the head coach. <clears throat> Some people, excuse me, might hate the move, but uh, it probably falls into the don't love it, don't hate it category, uh, was the quote he said. The bigger focus comes on to what uh, he can provide to Justin Fields on the offensive staff and who he brings in if he smartly makes hires there or if he makes questionable hires that a week or two, whatever the heck it is down the line, we're going, well, what what's going on here? Why did you bring these guys in? You So, like, if he does it smart from here on out uh, and hires good offensive people for fields, like I've said, we've seen defensive-minded coaches be mighty successful, and I think Justin Fields has a great chance to be mighty successful in this league as a quarterback. Not everybody smokes it in their first year, they just need to get some time to develop and then get going and become a big show item um, for the NFL stage. And I think that is what Justin Fields is going to become. He's going to take a big step this year, I feel, um, where he just has the talent, in my opinion, to, to be despite the coach. But even with a guy, um, if he can hire the right people, as Aaron Lemming was alluding to, they will be in a tight spot, meaning in the good way, like in a very good spot. Um, if they can put Fields in the position that we've seen Sean McDermott put Josh Allen in. And then in terms of how Brandon Staley's hired the right offensive talent to coach Justin Herbert, obviously you would like to see the defense, which is what he's there for, and the overall Chargers team get better as a whole, but he's been successful with Herbert. So defensive coaches can be successful with Justin, or not with Justin Herbert, with quarterback. So <clears throat> now it's about seeing if Matt Abarflis fits into that category, or if it becomes a hire that we're going to say, well, there was higher guys on the market in terms of where we thought they were at in their careers for getting head coaching jobs like Byron Leftwich, for example. Um, is maybe Abarflis a guy, should they have went with a more offensive guy that we thought really could have opened up the realms for Justin Fields? We'll have to see if this works out or not. Right now, <clears throat> I would have to say... Uh, from stuff I've read on him being a good defensive mind. The Colts defense, for him being a former Colts offense or defensive coordinator, excuse me, has been solid in recent years and has been developing. Um, I wouldn't say their defense is necessarily Carson Wentz is a big reason why they haven't made the didn't make the playoffs. They were a very one dimensional offense. The defense was all right. Was it great? No. So I don't think again this is the most squeaky clean greatest hire. I would give it probably a B minus to a B. Uh, just because there's questions of you could have hired guys that I think most people would have ranked on their top five tier of possible coaches before this guy. And uh, that's the same thing with the guy the Packers hired who I'm going to do a video on soon. But it is what it is. We've seen guys that got hired that people said the same things about. And then it obviously um, has worked out. Like when McDermott got hired, he was one of those guys that some people said, well, aren't there other coaches that might have more experience than Sean McDermott? And long and behold, yes, he hasn't had the success he wants to have in the playoffs, but he has had good success as an overall NFL head coach. So hope you all enjoyed this quick video on Matt Burfus becoming the Chicago Bears head coach. Everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Enjoy your day out there and enjoy the NFL playoffs. Please subscribe down below or above these use widgets to help us grow to 200 by the end of February.